Utah heads to San Diego State. They are going on the road again, and they are a nine-point favorite, which is exactly where I set the line initially. You know, they opened as a seven-point favorite. Been a lot of love with a bounce back from Utah. San Diego State is feisty. They are really good. They whipped the absolute hell out of out of Arizona last week. Total is 44 and a half, by the way. So you're looking at having to beat somebody by double digits with a score that will remain in the 40s. And normally, that kind of thing doesn't happen. Uh, Brady Hoke and that, that Aztecs defense kind of, you know, or, well, not the defense, but the offense is really picking up a lot of pace here lately. They are really getting after it on offense. I... I didn't like what I saw out of Utah last week. They looked discombobulated. They looked confused a little bit. They made some major mistakes that you don't normally see them make, and they did it on the road, and now you're on the road again. I I don't know if this is a get-right game for Utah. This feels like it might be too many points. San Diego State, 6-2 and two straight up against the Pac-12 uh, in their last eight, and that's they're not even against the spread. That's just straight up. I, I kind of like San Diego State here. I'm not going to take a money line on it, but I will. I will certainly take nine points. So yeah, I, I we see this game very similar as well. I picked this game in in my SBR show. I did the breakdown, and my breakdown was exactly what you said. That if you think a game is going to be played in the 40s, nine points is a hell of a lot of points to give a head start to a team to a game that's going to be played in the 40s. That means you're going to kick the shit out of them. That means it won't be close. Okay, if San Diego State scores at all. You're either getting way over the 40s or you ain't close to your nine, all right? And and that's the issue. I think it's too many points. I think this this, this ain't some punk-ass Mountain West team like San Diego State's been in the past, okay? San, San Diego, this Aztec team is tough, all right? They play real good defense. The, all you talked about, their offense is getting better. I, I like this team. Had it, 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 my only reason for not having a money line play on this is I can't see Utah losing two games in a row to teams that Utah is better than. Because there's no question Utah is Utah has more talent and is better than B, uh, BYU. Utah has more talent and is better than San Diego State. I cannot imagine a world where they lose two games back to back straight up. But I absolutely can see them not just saying we have to get a win here. We don't need to kick the shit out of somebody. We need to play smart. I think offensively, they're going to become a shell of themselves. I think they're going to stop taking chances. I think they're going to try and 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 not go vanilla, but not make mistakes, which means if we get out of here with a field goal win, we're the happiest guys in, in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, I think they will focus a lot more on the running game. And, and I don't think that they will be playing from behind. Of course, you never know what's going to happen in these games. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.